gentlemen, what is going on? This is BTM14 Game, and I'm coming back with some more Car Mechanic Simulator. We're here in uh, episode number two, we've got some big things planned. A uh, good buddy of mine, he threw some business my way, so this older gentleman, he had this Plymouth Barracuda sitting in his yard for the last 20 years. It's, uh, it's deplorable condition. It is gross. Every which way is rotted. We got a lot of body work to do. I can imagine all underneath suspension. There's no interior. Some suspension work's gonna need to be done. The motor, it's just, it's seized. It ain't moving. That's coming out. Uh, yeah, other, all in all, it's pretty gross. So, we're definitely gonna have to strip this thing down, do all the body work, clean out all the surface rust. But yeah, I'm going to have my mechanic, as soon as he gets to work this morning, help me push this over onto our lifter, and we're going to get cranking out on it. Try to make uh, another happy customer here at BTN's Garage. You know, try to keep a profit flowing so we don't have to close down at the end of the restoration season. Which is usually only good through the summer, because not many people want to restore their old muscle cars here come wintertime. But, other news, I got the Mustang going. Got some brand new OEM body parts. Oh, look at those brand new panels, brand new straight fenders and doors. I got all brand new front suspension underneath of that. Oh, man, look at that. This bad boy's coming along. I got the whole rear suspension I'm going to do. And then we're going to get a, find a motor for this bad boy. We might just go get a crate motor and drop in this big old bad mean machine. But I'd like to, uh, I'd like to get it painted too. I'm not sure what color I want to go. Don't want to go yellow because I mean, yellow on Mustangs are just so typical. I want to make something that makes this thing stick out like a boner in sweatpants, make it really pop. We'll figure out that as soon as we get there. But in the meantime, I have to put my project aside and uh, I got about two months to push this bad boy out, get it done. And uh, yeah, as soon as my mechanic gets here, we're going to push on the lift and we're going to get started. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we got this thing moved over, picked up on the lifter. Uh, we're going to yank the motor out. This gentleman has a little higher of a budget, so we're going to really, he wants to he wants to dyno this motor out pretty hard. So with that being said, we're going to have to beef up the rear suspension. We're going to have to get some front suspension done. It definitely needs the work. Um, we're going to... Put some nice dual exhaust, some nice chrome dual exhaust on this bad boy. It's just, it's gonna be a mean machine when it's done. So it's nice to have somebody that has a little bit of a bigger of a budget to go ahead and. I mean, he wants everything aftermarket gearbox. We're gonna have a performance gearbox on this thing. We're gonna have just performance everything. We don't have to worry about draining the oil because there's no oil pan. And. Uh, yeah, we're going to yank this bad boy out. Ah, that Mustang is sharp with them new panels on it. <clears throat> Can't wait to get the rear end done because it is... It's pretty rotted back there. Alright, let's go yank out this motor, shall we? Nice. Now we got a clean engine bay. I know I want to do the... Put this bad boy back. We'll get the block set out, and we'll get some performance, everything put in this bad boy. We're going to really make this thing just scream on the dyno. Man, what a rotted pile of garbage. See if we can really turn this thing into something, huh? Let's see what we got here. It has the V8 OHV Hemi Shaker motor, which I think we're going to put back in, but we're just going to beef it up beef this thing up let me go put the order in let's get a crate motor sent down here shall we let's go back to home page and we're gonna get that ordered and uh, once it gets here we'll be right back all right crate motors here it's finally up on the engine stand I got the custom heads on it the custom intake manifold we got some custom pistons inside we got brand new alternator. Oh, look at that high performance alternator. We got the high performance water pump. 
<clears throat> Alright, a power steering pump, I apologize. What do we need? You know, HVC. I think we have one lying around the old shop here. HVC. Pull up the pier here. V8. V8. Looks like we had two of them lying here in the shop somewhere. Slap that belt on. We'll slap that belt on. Put the old. Oh, I think we picked up the wrong fan. Red fan. B. Throw that bad boy on. Oh, nice clean motor. Oh, that's sexy. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what we got. We got the aftermarket distributor add some horsepower what do we need we need B clips gotta have the clips alright we also need rods which was OHVH so we need 16 total two for oh I went too much look at me being an idiot 16 of those and then we need of course we gotta get some spark plugs aftermarket eight of those puppies gotta make sure the clips go on the distributor or the car won't run at all all right let's push these valve rods in one two and then a spark plug. One, two, and a spark plug. Tedious work here, but we'll make it look pretty. One, two, and a spark plug. Then one, two, and a spark plug. I don't think we got the rocker arms. They have any in the uh, performance? I didn't think so. Rocker arms. Which one was it? Uh, I think OHVH. Yep, for the Plymouth. We need two of them puppies. Slap that on there. Screw it in. Man, the horsepower on this motor is going to be unbelievable. Got the aftermarket. This is off manifolds. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, boys. We got some brand new aftermarket. God, look at those carburetors. Oof, baby. I didn't grab the other carburetor. What a moron. Brand new custom aftermarket fuel filter. Slapping these valve push rods. Spark plug, valve push rod, valve push rod, spark plug. Repetitious. But man, this thing's going to have some serious horsepower. Serious horsepower. Put that on, put that on. I know it'd be easier to do the spark plugs. Put that off, but... We don't like to do anything easy here in BTN's garage. Brand, look at that exhaust manifold, man. This thing is sexy. Can't believe I grabbed I didn't grab the right carburetor. What a moron. I'm so terrible at this. Carb. That B. I think we need B. Or A. Slap that, there we go. Slap that puppy on there. Airbase Hemi Cuda. Let's get the engine head cover B, engine head cover A. Oh, da 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 da. Head cover B. Engine head cover A. I'm an idiot and found it. Perfect. Let's get these head covers on. Oof. 
Man, this motor is gonna. Oof. We're just gonna knock back some serious horses. All custom aftermarket parts, oh, aftermarket plugs and wires. Cuda. Let's see what we got in the Cuda. Oh, wear base Cuda. Their filter cover, shaker cover. Yes, sir. I don't know if they have a aftermarket one. Cuda. Oh, they do. Aftermarket air filter. You know, we got to get that on there. Oof. And, ooh, oh, nope, nope, nope. We don't want that on there. I bought the I bought two air filters like a moron. There we, there we go. I knew I needed that. Hey, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Slap that on. Put the shaker cover on. And, oof, girl. That is one mean motor. Can't wait to see this thing on the dyno. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to get that. Get ready to get some more body work done on this thing. And uh, when I get it ready to go and some new body panels on it, we'll, uh, we'll be back. All right, we'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Just had to put some stuff in my locker. We got the CUDA. The body work's all done on it. Oh, it looks so much better. Night and day difference. Ah, oh, look at all that. <clears throat> Worked hard on it for about two and a half weeks. We definitely beat our time on it. While the body man was doing his thing, we got the front suspension done. Uh, we're getting ready to just drop this brand new motor in it. Let's go ahead and install this gorgeous new... Oh, man. Look at this. I'm going to put the rad in it. Got a brand new radiator. A brand new battery to hook up. <clears throat> brand new brake servo good lord we push this back look at that mean motor in there <sighs> Jesus I don't know this dude might never get his car back I might actually keep this thing because this is gorgeous very happy with how it's going we got the rear suspension left to do I'm waiting on the rear end to get here it should all be coming in one piece just to get it all together. Hopefully that comes soon. If not, <clears throat> I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to get the transmission up in here. We got to do all the, uh, we got to get a brand new flywheel. We got the parts sitting here with the transmission. Let's get the clutch plate, the crutch pusher plate, the flywheel. Go up here. We need the clutch release bearing and the drive shaft, which, you know, we've had all that sitting here. Let's put the flywheel in. A brand new clutch plate. Oof. Brand new pressure pressure plate. I don't know why I keep throwing an L in that. What an idiot. Oh, let's put that release bearing on there. What do we get? OHVF. Let's go get that transmission. Custom gearbox. O H V F. Oh, there she is. Three thousand dollars. This dude has got three thousand just wrapped up in this brand new custom aftermarket transmission. We need a starter. Oop, starter. Try to type that with one hand. Doesn't work too well. There she is. Oh, baby. We got the front suspension done. Once we get this rear suspension delivered, we'll be all right. That'll be really nice then. We get that together, and then all that's left after we get that put back together, the drive shaft in, the brand new dual chrome exhaust out the back, 
All we have left is to uh, throw her in the paint booth, and the wheels and tire, our rims and tires should be on their way. Uh, and yeah, once everything gets delivered, guys, I'll uh, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back with the uh, suspension finally got delivered. So we're going to slap that bad boy in there real quick. Got the brand new leaf springs. Oh, man, they look so much better than everything that was built up. Those rust, all that years and years of rust. Slap the new knuckles on, the new shock absorbers. Put the leaf spring plate in. Slap in these U-bolts. I think I need a couple more U-bolts because I'm an idiot. Which, we all know that, but hey. I'm trying. I'm not a mechanic, I'm a tow truck driver. New cylinder, some new brake shoes. Brake drum on that bad boy. And, whew. Let's get nasty with it. We're going to put the brand new fuel tank up in there. Brand new fuel pump. High performance, of course. Nothing but the best for my customers here at BTN's Garage. I think I need more U-bolts again. Let's go grab those. Get out of the power stuff because there's no such thing as high performance U-bolts. Oh. U-bolts. Oh my god. Nothing wants to work tonight. Must be a Monday. You know, suspension... Leaf spring U-bolts. There we go. Little technical difficulties, but we'll slap them U-bolts up in there. Yeah, take a shot for every time I say U-bolt, huh? There's plenty of it tonight. <clears throat> Put our small rubber bushings up in here. Man, this rear end's so nice now that it's here and complete. All right. Put our knuckle housing on. Our wheel hub the uh, drive axles man oh man we now have a complete rear end she's ready to go we can put the drive shaft in real quick that brand new expensive drive shaft is sitting down here all aluminum so we need front exhaust pipe Let's see if we can find any in the aftermarket exhaust front exhaust pipe we well, yeah, know we can get some middle mufflers two middle mufflers is there any aftermarket kudos nope Is to custom so we have front exhaust pipe uh, need HP got those any CUDA rear pipes rear mufflers get that hooked up two brand new pipes up front Oof, straight dual exhaust out the back boys there she is. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm going to get this put down on the ground with some wheels. I'm going to push her on in the uh, paint booth, and I'll get back to you when she's all done. We'll see you here shortly. All right, guys. Let's go show you what I got going on. My customer's on his way. He should be here in about 25 minutes. And we're going to show him this beautiful, beautiful Cuda that we finished for him. Oh, God, that Mustang. Oh, as you can see right through there on the dyno. Let's pop this door open. Oh, baby. Look at that mean, mean Cuda. Another one here at BTN's garage. Done. Let's pop the hood for you guys. And yes, it's on the dyno, and we're about to see what she's got. Let's do it. <clears throat> All right, we're usually running about 425 horsepower at 4,800 RPMs. Let's see what this uh, mean motor does. Oh, 
baby. Seven hundred forty-two horses. That's a gain of seventy-four percent, man. Look at that thing. That is one mean, mean motor. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> let's get pushed over to the garage entrance, and uh, let's go get another good look at this thing. I mean, man, I got stuck in the door. Too fat to fit through. Man, look at that thing under the shop lights. Jesus. We got a brand new interior. Look at those bucket seats. Oh, God, this thing is gorgeous. Nice clean trunk, brand new trunk panel. Oh, man, this thing looks a lot better than it originally did. We got a badass motor, boys. But I'm going to let this guy come pick up his ride, and uh, hopefully he likes everything about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until the next time, peace.